This is on the program, right? So there's rehearsal. That's how we roll them, except for we haven't yet.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Thank you. 
Before we begin, I wonder if you can all join me in thanking members of the Maritime Brass Quintet who have played pomp and circumstances up for all of our convocations. They were listed in my list of thank yous, but I wanted to get that off to a good start by thanking them before we started. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Dalhousie University's Fall 2023 Convocation for graduating classes from the Faculty of Computer Science, the Faculty of Science, and the Faculty of Graduate Studies. My name is Frank Harvey, and it is my distinct honor and privilege to be serving as Dalhousie's Provost and Vice President Academic, and I'll serve as the MC for today. Can I ask you, please sit down, please sit down. I, I've only done about 70 of these and I, I keep messing up on this. Uh, if you can all please just take a second to turn the sounds off on your phones with respect to other sounds, including the beautiful sounds of your children. Don't worry at all, they are beautiful sounds. We welcome them. Um, and don't be worried, and any cheering or screaming, we welcome that as well as, your, uh, as our graduates cross the stage. Don't worry about those sounds. We will begin the ceremony today by asking Elder Tom Christmas to deliver the traditional Mi'kmaq welcome. I'm sorry, people, just an inside joke. He called me Dan yesterday. <laughs> and I have the, the, the privilege of saying uh, a welcome and the opening prayer. So if I could ask you to stand up, please. Jelly da, well done, Biggie da, well done. Hey, Moody, I'm going to tell you, well, I guess, Squid Nuga, Show School of Tijiga, Chogana Mazuk Tijiga, a whole day, I'm still busy dial. Well, that's a big mug, big dial. A whole day, I'm still doing begging, dang, gizzy, pissing. And for the opening prayer, Kisuk. Kisukolaliak, <laughs> Creator, I thank you for this beautiful day. And Creator, I ask you to watch over these fantastic graduates and the beautiful families that are responsible for these graduates. And I ask the Creator to watch over you while you're in Halifax, and to watch over you when you're driving home. And I thank the Creator for 
everything that he has done for all of us. And I hope and pray, oh yes, welcome to Mi'kma'ki. I've only done this 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Mi'kma'ki, the home of the Mi'kmaq. And I thank and welcome each and every one of you that has been able to be here, even to live here. And I thank the Creator for this beautiful day. And for what these graduates have accomplished, I thank the Creator. I thank the parents, because they put, a, put up a lot of crap. <laughs> now that's good, you're, you're laughing now. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you have a nice day. And I pray that the students don't go crazy with their celebrations. Um, the HRM police are sort of a, they know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much and have a nice day. And uh, that's it, folks. That's all. Please be seated. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Tom, for your beautiful uh, Mi'kmaq welcome. I would also like to acknowledge that Dalhousie University and our community benefit from and sit on Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This territory is covered by the treaties of peace and friendship, treaties the Mi'kmaq and Walistigwe peoples first signed with the British Crown in 1725. These treaties did not deal with the surrender of lands and resources, but in fact recognized Mi'kmaq and Walistigwe rights and established rules for an ongoing relationship between nations. We are very grateful for our partnerships and our friendships across Dalhousie's campuses, grateful for our elders in residence, grateful for our uh, our elders past, present, and emerging, grateful for our community leaders, our Indigenous Advisory Council, our Director of Indigenous Community Engagement, Indigenous Student Center, Indigenous Health Programs, and our Indigenous Student Access, Access Pathways on the Truro campus. We have many other initiatives and partnerships across our faculties and, and administrative units and we will continue to work on and build on these critically important relationships and friendships because we are all treaty people and we take these words and our commitments to truth and reconciliation very seriously. We would also like to acknowledge the histories and the contributions and the legacies of the African Nova Scotian people and communities who have been here for over 400 years. We are grateful for our African Nova Scotian Advisory Council and our Director of African Nova Scotian Community Engagement. I'd now like to take a moment to introduce those individuals uh, who will participate in our ceremony today. When I call your name, if you are able, can you remain standing? Beginning, of course, with Elder Tom Christmas for the Mi'kmaq welcome this morning. <laughs> Elder Anne Lebilwa, who uh, provided the Mi'kmaq welcome in the sessions yesterday. Dr. Rustam Southwell, Dalhousie's Chancellor. <laughs> Dr. Kim Brooks, Dalhousie's President and Vice-Chancellor. <laughs> Louise Pateri, the Chair of Dalhousie Senate. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Rao Chaplin, Dean of the Faculty of Computer Science. Dr. Charles McDonald, Dean of the Faculty of Science. <laughs> Dr. Marty Leonard, Dean of the Faculty of Graduate Studies. <laughs> Dr. Rita Orji, Associate Professor of the Faculty of Computer Science and our convocation speaker today. <laughs> and Dr. Aaron Bertrand. 2022 recipient of the President's Research Excellence Award for Emerging Investigator and the University Beadle for the ceremony today. 
Also on the party today and in the audience are others who have contributed to and who have been committed to our students' success. These include numerous faculty members, staff, administrators, associate deans, VPs, and many others who are also critical to the success of our students and to the academic excellence of our programs. Can I ask you all please to stand? Our platform party for today. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Graduates, please rise. Chancellor Southwell, as chair of the Senate of Dalhousie University, I ask you to confer degrees upon those candidates whose names have been approved by Senate. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in Dalhousie University, I admit to their respective degrees and diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto those candidates who have fulfilled the requirements of that degree and whose names have been approved by the Senate. Admito vos ad valum. Congratulations. <laughs> Graduates, please be seated. I now call upon Dr. Andrew Rao Chaplin, Dean of the Faculty of Computer Science, Dr. Charles McDonald, Dean of the Faculty of Science, Dr. Marty Leonard, Dean of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, and Logan Robbins, uh, an order and alum from the Fountain School of Performing Arts to present candidates who are here today receiving degrees. Chancellor Southwell. I am honored to present to you the following candidates on behalf of the Faculty of Computer Science who have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Applied Computer Science. Amal Abed Ahmad. with the Sexton distinction, Yara Ahmed. <laughs> Khaled Majed El Mabashi. The Sexton distinction. Ishan Batya. <laughs> With distinction, Tent Zern Chu. <laughs> With the Sexton distinction, Brandon Mitchell Fowler. Sabiha Khan. <laughs> Ryan Proud. Crew 
Mohan Liu. With Sexton Distinction, Lexi Carolyn McDonald. <laughs> Carmen May Lynn McCullough. Nedimovic <laughs> Mahmoud Manvur Linda Lafayette of Fiume. <laughs> Penghua Teng. Katia Vedeken. <laughs> Yaling Wang. <laughs> Zoka Wong. Patrick George Wooden. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Applied Computer Science. Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Computer Science. Tata Abule Otto. David Aden. <laughs> Lily Catherine Andrushak. <laughs> Artemis Anwer. With Sexton Distinction, Katie Arsenal. <laughs> With Distinction, Ayush Awasi. Robert William Block. Yeah. 
Fallon Boone. Joseph Macarius Burton. With distinction, Saiz Rafiq Charolia. With distinction, Takumi Frederick Como. Tanish Dagar. Warren Fisher. With Sexton Distinction, Alexander Bezanson Gates. With Sexton Distinction, Ted Graveson. Jessica Ha. Bryn Haley. With Sexton Distinction, Jason Peter Havel. With Sexton Distinction, Ben Lewis Hickman. <laughs> Kevin Hines. <laughs> With first class honors, Mirajul Islam. <laughs> Brandon Stewart Jack. <laughs> Ellis, uh, with distinction. Ellis Jesse Keener Lacroix. Omar Khan. With distinction, Shun Lee. With Sexton Distinction, Yihong Lee. <laughs> With first class honors, Chadan Lo. <laughs> With Sexton Distinction, James Patrick Lynch. Pranav Mandru. <laughs> With Sexton Distinction, Hong Yi Mao.
with distinction, Emanuela Mensa. With first class honors, Himal Sandeep Marika. Benny Mugisha. Pat Manish Kumar Patel. Ananta Suraj Patnarakuni. With Sexton Distinction, Matthew James Roberts. Connor David Russell. With Sexton Distinction, Pedram Safari. With distinction, Riti Brijesh Shah. <laughs> With sexton distinction, Ranak Singh. With distinction, Sahil Maheshpe Salrothia. Amor Tabosi. So they buy Trivedi. Bridge Ashwin by Bagani. With distinction, Yushuan Wong. Yicheng Yong. <laughs> Mahmoud Zaki. <laughs> Shije Singh. With distinction, Yuthan Jo. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Computer Science. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell. I am honored to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. With first class honors, Ayrton Max Johnson.
with distinction, Brinda Katpal. With distinction, Cleo Geggy. With distinction, Ethan George Murphy Colbeck. Cameron Vallis. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Stephen Cecil Allen. Ashton Kent Anderson. Yasmin Awad. Daniel William Austin with distinction. Abdul Hadi Aya. Golnush Parid Latif. Kaylin Elizabeth Baxter. With distinction, James Bonellos. Kathleen Malino Cabellin. Michael Carswell Majupian. Paula Castro. Joyelle Laurie Charlemagne. Emma Claire Curry. Huda Muhammad Ali Dashti. With first class honors, Lily Elizabeth Daw. With first class honors, Lilia Horn. You are Jean. With distinction, Johanna Marie Jorgensen. Yeah. 
with distinction, Catherine Charlotte Lee. Xunwei Li. With distinction, Yishuan Li. Jenna Sullivan May. <laughs> Emily Rose Macbeth. <laughs> With first class honors, Zachary Murray. With distinction, Yaman Oda. <laughs> Haran Prasad. <laughs> Brogan Rieger. Ricciardi Sarah Wong Ibrahim Saidi Yan Yi Wu <laughs> Yang Shu <laughs> Jia Juan Zhe. Kayen Chu <laughs> Wei Hong Chu. Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, I'm now honored to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science Medical Sciences. Nicoletta Dini. <laughs> Dagny Guinness. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Science Medical Sciences. Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present you on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies,
the following candidates who fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Applied Computer Science. Deepthi Siromani! <laughs> Tarash Agarwal! <laughs> Monil Hitesh Andaria! Shobit Arora. <laughs> Tushar Arora. <laughs> Anne Awasti. Jayasri Krishna Bala. <laughs> Sri Ramya Basam. <laughs> Arti Jedipai Balodia. Heli Dharmeshkumar Bafsar. <laughs> Hargun Chabra. <laughs> Shravya Reddy Janapali. Gushal Kumar Bagabia Gondolia. <laughs> Guturu Rama Mohan Vishnu. Shreya J. Chandran. Aishwarya Kanchi. Yogesh Kumar. Rahul Ashokumar Makwan. <laughs> Venkata Vijaya Rama Raju Mandapati. Meet Nilish Kumar, Master! Oh! 
Ragu Matukamali. Ashpak Rakip Mohammed. Aishwarya Natrajan. Dhrupa Mahendra Bhai Patel. Krishi Dipambai Patel. Cotton Kushik by Patel. Ketel Kamrish by Patel. Kriel Rajesh Kumar Patel. Vaishwi Hitesh Kumar Patel. Saif Ali Nisra Ali Prasla. Harul Rice. Shivam Dinesh Rank. Ratod Karan Singh Rator Drubit Bavish Ravel. Swinkal Sherakumar Sakaria <laughs> Maitri Manishpai Salvla <laughs> Aneri Shah. Banziri Hatesh Shah. <laughs> Harsh Kalmashe Shah. <laughs> Shubham Sharma. Faiza Azizu Machia.
Sag Kumar Pankaj bei Vagasya. Krachi Yadav. Chancellor Southwell, I am. Uh, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Applied Computer Science. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present to you on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Arts. Potsma Sarpong Afripa. Enoch Tete Ohwakese. Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Arts. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present to you on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Computer Science. Mayank Anand. <laughs> Noah Joseph Barrett. <laughs> Rohini Shandrala. Naveta Govindravu. <laughs> Kazi Antor Hassan. <laughs> Yuan Hong. Kartik Tulishbai Kakardia. Sana Kashkuli. Yanson Lee. Zi Hao Liu Rakshit Makan Mecca Nwago. Fanny Paul Odenibo <laughs> Joseph Ufiam Oje <laughs> R 
Richard John Purcell. Gautam Swaminath Ganesh. Shri Rama Kamal Kumar Vegu. Krishna Teya Vemula. Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Masters of Computer Science. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Development Economics. Zaneb Aser. <laughs> Chukwe Buka Bernard Azolebe. Tracy Anunawapo Ogarinde. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Development Economics. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present to you on behalf of the Faculty of Graduate Studies the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Digital Innovation. Temelula Faith Ajebwa. Shariar Azam. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Digital Innovation. Chancellor Southwell, I am now honored to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Science. Laura Margaret Elliott. <laughs> Jessica Garden. Kathleen Maddie McGraw. <laughs> Vinayak Anil Mool. <laughs> Caitlin Maria Nemechek. Jasmine Elizabeth Penny.
Jared Taylor Shapiro. Steve Owen Sequera. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Science. Mr. Chancellor. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is the highest earned degree awarded by the university, and as such it represents the culmination of the candidate's educational achievement. And I'm pleased to present to you the following candidates who through thesis and examination have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. In addition, the awarding of the PhD degree completes a long cooperation between the student and their thesis advisor. And we are pleased in this ceremony also to recognize the supervisor of the doctoral candidate. And we ask the supervisor to stand and congratulate the graduate following hooding. And we'd also like to invite all of our new PhD, no longer candidates, but PhDs, to join us on the stage uh, following hooding. with supervisors Dr. Leslie McLaren and Bruce Rothbiger, Shima Burzui. With supervisors, Dr. Megan Bailey and Dr. Jamie Snook, Rachel Ann Cadman. <laughs> With supervisor, Miladin Nadimovic, Anna Korbelan Castellon. With supervisors, Dr. Sherry Stewart and Dr. Margot Watt, Christopher Edward John DeWolf. With supervisor uh, Natalie Rosen, Justin Pierre Dubé. <laughs> With supervisor Jeff Don. Ahmed El Saki. <laughs> With supervisor Dr. Sriniva Sampali, Sagarika Ghosh. Supervisor Dr. Allison Thompson, 
Rosina Leandra Gapare. with Supervisor Dr. Laura Turkelet, Dylan Jared Hale. With Supervisor Dr. Sherry Stewart, Jason Yaron Isaacs. <laughs> With Supervisor Dr. Aaron Bertrand, Loe Jobber. With Supervisor Dr. Bruce Rothgeber, Shi J. Lee. with Supervisor Dr. Christopher Thomas, John David Lincoln. <laughs> with Supervisor Dr. Ellen Deacon, Elizabeth Jean McKay Mariotti. with Supervisor Dr. Mita Dasog, Sarah Ann Martell. <laughs> with Supervisor Dr. Tara Perot, Elizabeth Marie Miles. <laughs> With Supervisor Ramon Figuera and John Grant, Megan Elizabeth Rector. <laughs> With 
with supervisor, Dr. Natalie Rosen, Megan Audrey Rossi. With supervisor, Guy Kember, Kostub Sadarshan. With supervisor, Dr. Alex Speed, Aaron Nora Welsh. With supervisor Theodore Monchensky, Andre Zelensky. <laughs> Chancellor Southwell. This concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Before Logan Robbins leaves the stage, can you all join me in thanking him for doing such an outstanding job? We know that there are students graduating today whose families, for whatever reason, could not be here to cheer them on. Uh, can I ask those whose families could not be here today to stand for a second? On behalf of their families, can we give these students... Uh, Thank you very much, everyone. Please be seated. Thank you. I would now like to call attention to the families and friends of our graduates today. We know that convocation is such an important occasion for you as well. And I know that all of us here recognize the importance of your love and your support uh, along the way. So we would like to express our gratitude for the role that you have played uh, in the success of our graduates today. Can I ask all graduates to stand up one more time. <laughs> and if I can ask the onstage party to join as well by standing up. Graduates, your family and friends have been applauding you throughout the convoca convocation, making a lot of very loud noises in celebration of your accomplish accomplishments. So uh, to thank them for their love and support, it's your turn to applaud them. A little more noise, just a little, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Please be seated.
Good afternoon. I'm Kim Brooks, newly installed president and vice chancellor at Dalhousie University. Convocation ceremonies this week are particularly fun for my colleague and friend, Chancellor Rustam Southwell and me, because we were both installed, which basically means announced into our roles at a convocation ceremony on Tuesday morning. <laughs> One of the invitations to new presidents is to say a few words to set the tone for the next era of life in the university. And one of our key themes in the coming years will be to focus on purpose. The purpose of universities, places that care about learning, curiosity, and exploration, as well as respond to our very human need to acquire, preserve, and produce new knowledges. And also on supporting those of us who are looking for a renewed sense of purpose and opportunity following a period of intense and sometimes difficult change. It's an honor to introduce Dr. Rita Oji who's a Canada Research Chair in Persuasive Technology and an Associate Professor of Computer Science. She directs a persuasive computing lab here. Her research is at the intersection of technology and human behavior, and it focuses on designing interactive technologies to empower people, improve lives, and contribute to solving many societal problems, specifically technologies that integrate into people's daily lives and support them to achieve various life self-improvement goals. She applies her work, she's gonna have a lot to do with me, but anyway, so she applies her work to tackle real life problems in various domains, including improving a wide range of health and wellness objectives, such as mental health, healthy eating, physical activity, smoking cessation, sexual and other, and other risky behaviors. She has won millions of dollars of competitive grant funding from agencies and governments around the world to support her work. She has over 200 peer-reviewed papers. She has won over 60 prestigious awards and recognitions nationally and internationally. Recently, she received the Outstanding Young Computer Science Researcher Awards from Computer Science Canada and was named among the top 150 Canadian women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Top 60 African women in STEM, top 100 Canada's most powerful women, top 100 Nigeria's leading women. I think you gotta do it. admitted into the Royal Society of Canada and the Global Young Academy. She's also a renowned speaker. She's delivered 24 keynotes and over 100 invited talks and invitations. I have like three more paragraphs of things, but I, I think, look, you've got the gist of it. Let, let me say one or two more things while she walks to the left-hand stage. She's a champion of diversity and inclusion in STEM. <laughs> She founded the Education for Women and the Less Privileged Foundation. She's passionate about mentoring. I've had a few excuses to work with Dr. Oji in our time together. In every encounter, I leave inspired and motivated. She is a barrier breaker and an impact producer. She lifts up the people around her. I am thrilled she's agreed to address you this afternoon. Among other highlights, I believe she'll say a few words about the theme of purpose. Thank you so much, President Brooks, for that uh, wonderful introduction. I don't know what to say again. Anyway, uh, what are the exciting moments? I can feel the energy, the joy in the air. I feel like a new graduate again. Congratulations to you all. So, our fantastic graduates, proud families, parents, loved ones, my esteemed colleagues, friends, well-wishers, the university community, and everybody present in this place. Good afternoon to you all. All protocols observed. Today, I will share with you the importance of purpose, drawing from my own personal journey and personal experience. It is truly my pleasure and honor to share this important and exciting moment with each and every one of you here today in celebration of the fall 2023 graduates and installation of uh, Chancellor Southwell and President Brooks. I stand before you today as a product of a tiny village in Owoli Court, Enugu State, Nigeria. A place where material resources were scarce but happiness, joy, 
love, and unity were in abundance. It was in this tiny village and humble setting that I nurtured the dream that many deemed unrealistic due to the surrounding circumstances. Dreams that seems unattainable because of stories of where people like me had ended based on history. Dream that seems impossible because I was a girl child from a tiny village without electricity or tap water. But today, I want to tell you that I kept dreaming. I kept dreaming about a fantastic future for myself, a future where I would become a professor and explore the world. I did not just keep dreaming. I kept dreaming and telling anybody who cares to listen. I did not just keep telling people. I lived as if the dreams were already real. How did I do that, you may wonder. Well, part of my close-knit family's routine was to have a family playtime every Sunday. Because I liked to talk and sing, I would take the center stage as a pastor or a singer. And eventually, when I heard about how professors impact the world with their intelligence, I knew what my leading role would be henceforth. Rita, a professor of international repute, who traveled the world, helping others, positively impacting the world. Despite the fact none of us in my family actually understood what professors did at that time, and most of my family took it as a joke. But standing here in front of you today, having traveled to over 50 different countries, and as a professor, I want you to know two things. The power of your dreams and the power of purpose. As simple and comical as the scene I described to you may be, those dreams gave me purpose, a sense of direction and motivation to overcome obstacles in the face of some of the toughest times of my life. As I ventured into the Department of Computer Science at Nnamdi University, Nigeria, where I obtained my first degree, I saw the names of outstanding alumni who had achieved first class honors. It was then that I decided I would earn a first class degree, although I didn't even know what having a first class honors entailed at the time. I sounded like I needed to have one to achieve my dream of becoming a professor. Right there, I told myself I would make a first class. This wasn't because I was smart or knew what it took. After all, I didn't even know how to use a simple computer at the time. However, it seemed it was required to achieve my purpose and dream of becoming a professor. As I reflect on the occasion of today, I am deeply honored to address you as the graduating class of fall 2023 and share the momentous occasion with you. You have accomplished a significant milestone towards achieving your dream. You have braved the ups and downs towards achieving your dreams. Bravo. You should be very proud of yourself. We are very proud of you. As you take some time to celebrate, take a deep breath. Look at the horizon. The journey has just begun. This is where purpose takes shape and flight. For me, purpose is the why behind what you do. It is the driving force that gives meaning and directions to your life. Purpose transcends self-interest. It is about contributing to greater goods, pursuing meaningful career, and following your passion. Your purpose gives you direction fulfillment, and the strength to persevere in challenging times. So let me ask you, and I want you to answer as best as you can to yourself. What is your purpose? What drives you? Why did you acquire those specific skills? 
and earn your degree. And what will you do with it? How have you changed or been refined since you embarked on the journey of your academic pursuit? Remember, purpose comes in various forms. There's the community level purpose and there's the individual level purpose. For example, the housing community aims to provide supportive and inclusive environment for learning, research, and innovation. And we all play roles in shaping and contributing to that shared purpose. But your individual level purpose is 100% unique to you. And that is perfectly valid. Your dreams are valid even if no one else believes in them. As you step into the next phase of your life, I urge you to embrace your purpose. Some of you may have a clear, career, a clear path ahead, while others might still be exploring options. That is perfectly okay. Take time to figure it out, but don't stop moving forward. Regardless of where you are at in your journey, take the time to reflect on your why. Your why will be the anchor in moments of doubt and uncertainty. People often ask me how I decide to work in my research area of designing interactive technologies to promote social and public good with special focus on technology for promoting physical and mental health and wellness, empowering people to achieve various mental and wellness objectives. I remember what I told my supervisors when I landed in Canada in 2010 for my graduate school. When we were talking about possible research areas of interest, I told them that I'm not sure what I want to work on exactly, but I want to do a research that involves women, that makes impact in people's lives. I spent the first three months looking for an area of interest and eventually found my research area in the area of persuasive technology, which is at the intersection of technology and human behavior. This research is perfectly in line with my why, the why I decided to be a professor in the first place. It is helping me make impacts in areas I care a lot about, and that gives me a sense of fulfillment. Our talents and skills are meaningless, if not used to serve purposes greater than ourselves. Our world faces countless challenges from hunger and poverty to climate change, to discrimination. Consider how your skills can be channeled to address these global issues. Your purpose can guide you towards making meaningful impacts. Make sure your personal why is meaningful to you. In a world filled with trends and popular choices, don't lose sight of what is your purpose. Your dreams may not align with what is popular, but that is okay. Personal development along the path of your purpose is the key to success. Some guiding questions that can help you to decide on the options and opportunities that will come your ways are, why do I want to pursue that career path? Why do I want to accept one job offer instead of another? Why do I want to move to a new city or even a new country? Why do I want to pursue further education in this field or another. So let's talk about the path to success. My journey led me to pursue research in technology that empower people to achieve physical and mental health and wellness. It aligns with my why and brings a sense of fulfillment. Success for me is doing something personally meaningful. I remember securing some dream jobs after my bachelor's education and both family, friends, and well-wishers rejoiced with me. However, I told them that it wasn't exactly what I want, that I want to travel abroad to further my education. That didn't make sense to most of them, but it is in line with my why, my purpose. So find your why, discover your purpose, and align your life with it. This is the secret to a fulfilled, successful, and happy life. Don't follow your friends, the media, or anything blindly. Everyone has their unique path and purpose. 
Your friend's purpose may not look like yours. Your favorite social media influencer's path is different as well. Be yourself. Know yourself. Never stop developing yourself. I have a good news, though. If you haven't figured out your purpose yet, that is OK. Take this time to explore, experiment, and take calculated risk. I wish I could tell you that the journey ahead will be smooth and easy. But there will be ups and downs. It is part of life. And one thing is sure, you will make mistakes. One mistake I made was not taking the time to celebrate my achievements and constantly looking ahead to what is next. Learn from my mistake. Take time to celebrate your success, no matter how small. Lastly, but certainly not the least, don't forget the people along the way. We get little done alone. And although we have the same 24 hours in a day, we cannot excel at everything. Find your focus, find your purpose and focus on that. We need connections with others and we must be grateful of the ways in which we have experienced other people pouring into our dreams and our purpose. To everybody, my esteemed colleagues, family members, loved ones, other students, the entire university community, I want to say thank you for all the ways you've supported the graduates in front of us today throughout their journey. You are an important part of their story. Today, you embark on a journey of impact, and we will continue celebrating your positive contributions to the world. You've done us proud, and we believe in you. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Your dreams are valid, and your purpose will be your guiding star. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Orji, for that beautiful, powerful, and inspiring convocation address about dreams and purpose and the role that dreams and purpose have played in getting us to where we are today to celebrate your graduation and the importance of searching for the why after graduation. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. This ceremony is the fourth and final convocation ceremony for the fall 2023 graduation season. season. I'd like to thank all Dalhousie faculty and staff who do so much to support our students in their academic success and who have joined us over the past two days to celebrate your graduations with you. Thank you very much. I would also like to recognize and thank Elders Anne Lebillois and Tom Christmas, who opened each of our ceremonies with a beautiful traditional Mi'kmaq welcome. Thank you. Of course, I want to thank once again our Fountain School of Performing Arts alum and order, Logan Robbins, for the outstanding job that he did. I want to thank George Paul, who is the composer of the Mi'kmaq Honor Song that we will hear as the procession exit, exits the auditorium today. Thank him for permission to play the Honor Song um, today and over the last, uh, the last two days. I also want to thank the Dallas Arts Center staff who support us both at the front end and backstage for everything they do to make this work. And finally, I would like to thank our amazing team from the Registers Office who look after all of the details and all of the logistics of getting everyone into their seats and having us work through the celebrations today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Graduates and family, um, 
This is the conclusion of the graduation ceremony. Following this ceremony, your parchment uh, will be available at the Convocation Hub located on the second floor of the Student Union Building. Let me be the first to acknowledge that as you leave the auditorium today, uh, our graduates will officially become part of the Dalhousie Alumni family and Dalhousie Alumni network of more than 155,000 people from around the world. This is a tremendous asset I hope you'll take advantage of by connecting to the broader Dalhousie community. We invite you to get involved. We invite you to stay involved. Congratulations again and welcome to the Dalhousie alumni family. As a university, we take immense pride in the success of our graduate students. And we are fully committed to becoming, becoming an even stronger university by building on our promises to our students our promises to our faculty and staff and communities, our ongoing commitments to equity, diversity, inclusion, and accessibility. We will continue to build on our reputation and our legacy so that the value of your degree, what it means to have a degree from Dallas University will continue to appreciate and expand over time. This is our promise to you. This is our commitment to you as alumni of Dalhousie. So thank you for choosing Dalhousie, thank you for allowing us to be part of your educational journey. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Enjoy this special moment and please stay in touch. Thank you all for joining us today. Can I please ask you to stand as the academic procession exits the auditorium? Thank you very much.
Hey. 